Hey guys, so I'm about to uh, upgrade my camber plates from the other uh, ground control camber plates to uh, four slot camber plates. And I thought this would be a good time to uh, talk a little bit about coilovers and what they look like and exactly how they work. So this is a damper. Um, basically what you have to remember is that the bottom of it goes into the wheel knuckle and whatever the angle of the damper is it's going to be the same as the other wheel basically the angle between the wheel and the damper doesn't change it's fixed so uh, the idea of coilovers is that you basically have a spring on top of the other damper so you have a coil over the damper and this little wheel will adjust the other height of, uh, of the, uh, the suspension. You can basically rotate it, lower the springs, raise the springs. Uh, so that's how you will adjust the other height because the car will push down from the top and you will have the other uh, same amount of force applied by the car on the spring. So it will compress a little bit and damper will basically move down. Uh, this shaft is basically the resistance to the other spring, so it kind of dampens the uh, uh, the other uh, the movement of the spring, so your car just doesn't just bounce on the other spring. Uh, and then after you're done adjusting the other height, there's a uh, nut here that you tighten and basically fix this rotating part to uh, to the body of the other damper. So on top of the other spring, there's a top hat that comes with uh, the damper, uh, the other camber plates. So that goes on the other top. And you have to uh, have the other same diameter of the other spring as the other top hat, so that uh, all fits nicely and the spring doesn't move too much to side, side to side. And then on top of this top hat comes the other camber plates. And the camber plate, there's really nothing magical about it. It's a sliding, uh, a uh, piece of uh, metal uh, that is uh, tightened from the other top. The nuts go through the other body of the other red camber plate and attach to the other metal plate here on the other bottom. And as you tighten it, you fix it into a, a particular position. So the camber plate goes on top like this. And the idea is that you can adjust the other angle of the uh, the tire, how it contacts the other road uh, by a few degrees. And why do that? Well, if you're racing the car and you're in a turn, it leans over to one side, loads the tires, and the other outer edges of the tires wear out and your contact patch is an optimal because it's on one side of the tire instead of on the, on the whole surface of the other tire. So you adjust the angle, you have better wear, better contact patch. Uh, car turns and handles better. So now that we have this thing on the top, let's uh, move the other camera to show the other top of the other camber plate. Okay, so now we're looking at the top of the camber plate and that sits on your uh, top of the strut tower in the car. And when you want to adjust the angle, you basically loosen these guys and you can even move them around to get different uh, position of uh, attachment. Uh, but once you uh, figure out what the angle you want of the other uh, the tire, I don't know for track usage, maybe minus three, three and a half, maybe minus four, depends how much turning you're actually doing. Um, and uh, once you uh, get to the other position that you want, you basically tighten these guys. Uh, and it's not really, uh, you don't have to use a lot of force. Uh, the lateral forces on this strut tower aren't really all that big. So it's typically about, I don't know, uh, 15 pound feet torque or something like that. Uh, and on top of the other uh, damper, there's a little uh, hat to make it stable. There are going to be nuts to uh, attach the other uh, damper and basically tighten the other uh, top head from the spring to the spherical bearing inside the other uh, camber plate and two of them to make sure that it doesn't get loose and my damper has is a single adjustable so it comes with a little hat for adjusting the uh, the levels of 
uh, well, basically, how difficult is it for the other damper to uh, to move? So we can make it stiffer or softer, uh, depending on what you need. And that sits on top, and then you basically adjust the other damper with the other top hat. So there's really not much magic to it, but um, I was curious of how that works myself before I figured everything out. So hopefully you find that interesting. And one more thing about what to expect when you put this thing. Uh, you might have noticed that there are no rubber components on this uh, whole setup. So it will have more noise as you're driving the car. It's actually not terrible, but it's more of a metallic hum since there's really no insulation from the other noise by any rubber components from the uh, all the way from the wheel it's all metal on metal on metal and you may also see some little tiny skinny springs installed on the coilover they're called helper springs they basically have no resistance but they make sure that there are no clunks as the other uh, damper uh, expands so um, it basically just keeps it uh, with some tension.